loves it is sunday yet again and this week has completely flown by because of the holiday so i sincerely hope you all had a great week are enjoying the last bit of your weekend or are having a great start to your new week depending on when you watch this now unfortunately it has been requested for me to go back home for work over there even though I specifically asked for this next week because of fashion week I do have to head back home tomorrow Monday again which is super unfortunate because fashion week it's been super super chaotic at the office but I've been getting a lot of work done I've been doing a lot of hours which is great and I personally love fashion week obviously I'm not a fashion expertise by any means but I love watching the runway shows but I think what tops that is seeing all the new makeup from all the different brands that are going to come out or going to launch later on this year or next year which that's just my favorite part I think but anyways before I go back I really wanted to sit down and make this video for you all I do know that I tend to get super super chatty so for those of you interested in just seeing what the title suggests my declutter video then I will add an annotation right here with the time that you all need to click to so you all can just see the declutter part of this video and I will put that information down below as well it is way too hot to be having my hair like this oh my god okay I can bear it for a little bit trying to look cute girl anyways if you haven't noticed I am filming in a different background just because I am tired yes I am super tired probably even more tired than you all of seeing my closet as my background so I wanted to give you all something else to look at before I came back to the states when I was at home and not busy running around with work, da da da. Work over there has been pretty chill. Since September, it's been pretty chill, thankfully, but it's gonna get super busy really, really quick within a couple of weeks. So when I was over there and I just had a moment or moments to myself and I would be watching YouTube videos, I feel like I finally got that other perspective. You, you know that saying, you don't realize what you have until you don't have it? Well, I know this isn't the literal meaning, but it wasn't until I didn't see all of this every single day. I finally got into a realization that, girl, you have way too much makeup. You're never, ever going to use that makeup. And I say this to you all when I do like makeup collection videos or makeup storage, whatever, decluttering. In my other one, I remember telling you all specifically, I... I know I have way too much makeup, I'm an impulse shopper, da da da. But again, it, it wasn't until I didn't have to see this every single day that I realized, well girl, you gotta you gotta listen to yourself sometimes. Like you really do have a lot of makeup that you probably won't ever ever use in you you won't. You won't use it in all your lifetime. And it, it just gave me a reality check. If you've been watching my videos for a while, if you just browsed through my videos, then you know I already did a declutter video. And I remember specifically saying in that declutter video, I don't think I have a big enough collection to where I should do series, like clutter lip series or decluttering my makeup palettes or decluttering my eyeshadows. And I stand by it. I really don't think I have that big of a collection. But at the same time, I feel like at least for the videos that I've seen, not every YouTube guru out there. For the videos that I've seen, I feel that we kind of don't do this realistically. Some of us are like, oh, I might try it. I'm just going to keep it. Or, you know, oh, this is just too cute. Or da, 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 da. I realize that some makeup has sentimental value to us. For me personally, I could never, ever give up my MAC Spice Chocolate Quad from the Cult of Cherry collection. I could never because it was just the first MAC collection that I actually got to see release. There was other ones that I got from the end collection from Fafi, but it wasn't until Cult of Cherry and the Spice Chocolate Quad that I really, you know, that was my first ever collection that I got from MAC and da da da. So I could never ever get rid of that quad. And I could never get rid of my Naked One palette because my brothers bought me that. And, you know, it's just sentimental for me. So I understand that. But there's some things, especially lip products that even though it's cute packaging girl i understand trust me you know me but you have to be realistic you can't be using especially especially lip products products that sometimes you might accidentally ingest you sh really really should not be using for more than a year and a half and again i don't know if it's because i've been more at home and less in front of this but i've had so many friends and inclusively makeup artists tell me you really should not be using lipsticks that are a year plus old you really shouldn't so with all that being said this is a realistic 
makeup declutter video. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you all and say I'm gonna pick out every single thing. That's that's a lie. I'm not. <laughs> I'm just gonna be more realistic with myself and say, you know what, girl, this could go to a better home. There's always going to be new makeup. Always. And especially nowadays, it's more accessible for more people to start up makeup companies, which I think is great. I think it's awesome. There's more innovative products coming out and makeup brands constantly have to step up their game. So I think that's great. It's always gonna be makeup, always gonna be new limited edition, hard to find, and I think that's it. I'm going to set things aside that I need to toss and I'm gonna set things aside that I might wanna give away. I'm not sure how you all would feel about getting things that are maybe slightly used. Just let me know. Anywho, I'm talking way too much already. I really hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you all, like I said, have a great start to the new week. I will see you all super soon. After this is done, I will feel a lot better. I really hope you all enjoy the declutter video. I will see you all next time. Okay, love, so as you can see, this is the top of my vanity. And it doesn't look too crazy right now, but I do have my brushes there, the usual, my mirrors. This is stuff that I actually hauled in my last video. So if you want to go check that out, definitely go do so. And don't judge me, YouTube, but right after I finished filming the intro, I changed clothes because that shirt was long-sleeved. I don't know what I was thinking. Put up my hair, and I went to go get a freezy because it's hot. I do have brushes that I need to wash, so I'm going to set those aside. So this is the new one that I hold. Again, definitely go check out that video if you're interested in seeing that. This one's dirty, but... I think I'm gonna put this one away. I need to declutter brushes as well because I have so many and I'm constantly getting more. I love Real Technique brushes, nothing against them, but this particular one I don't use. So I'm gonna give it to a better home. This foundation brush, this is the Sephora, what is this called? Square foundation brush, this is the 112. I don't even know if they make this, they probably do, but I don't have cream foundation anymore. I just have it and I don't use it. So I think it's time to let it go. It's I don't recommend this for liquid foundation. This is definitely for cream foundation, which I really like the cover effects, but as for now, I just think I have way too much brushes. So that's clean, but I'm gonna give it away. So I'll wash it again. Uh, City Color brushes that are nice. These, as you can see, I have, I think they're all clean. Tools one, but I have so many, and I'm probably going to put this in my travel kit because I don't want to give it away or throw it away. But it also gets lost in here as you can see because I have so many brushes. I need to get a new holder for them. So yeah, I'm probably going to put that in exclusively for travel. An equal tools brush. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. It's okay when I don't have any other brush to go to but I don't know. I think I'm going to... I'm gonna give that one away or something because uh, I don't really reach for it that often. I actually really like this one. Okay, realistically, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna give one away. I don't know, should I keep this? I don't, I think I'm gonna pass it on because it's just, I have way too many brushes and y'all know me. This isn't even with the Sonia Kasha brushes that I have. Those are over there. So yeah, these are all fine. Eyeshadow brushes here. I'm gonna clean that one. I remember seeing a post a while ago about someone who got really nice brushes from eBay and I ended up ordering the same set and these are, what is this? Seriously, what? No. Clean that away. What is, this is the same Chinese set and I just, what? No, I don't like this. It's from the same brush set. I actually remember getting this but I don't know, I'm not too crazy about it anymore, and I have so many eye brushes, so I'm going to pass this on. This is a Sedona Lace brush, one of my only. I think I have three, but this one I'm just realistically don't use, so. one is too long, so. And this is the, the other Sedona Lace brush that I have. I'm going to pass it on. This is the Sigma SS226. I'm not sure if this was a limited edition or if they still make it. This is supposed to be like the MAC limited edition 226. I hate this. I'm gonna be honest. I just liked it because it's like the 226, but I hate it. It's super scratchy. I just, I'm gonna pass this on. These, again, from that Chinese that I want to get rid of. I have way too many brushes. I don't need... Look at how many brushes I took out. Yay, I'm excited. Now that I'm done with all the brushes, as you can see, they're in the little basket, I'm going to move on to the Alex. So I have my IKEA 
utility cart. I think it's called the Raskov or something like that. As you can see, there's already things in it from my last declutter video that I have yet to get rid of because I don't really feel like I should throw this away because it's still good makeup. This actually broke me out. I wanted to like this so much because I know so many people that have loved this for their dry skin. But unfortunately, it didn't work out for me, so that's where it is. Anyway, so I'm using this cart to put the makeup that I need to toss or give away or what have you. So first things first, my contour kit I love, pretty much use every day. I don't use a lot. I like it, but I'm going to be real. I, I don't see myself using it. I can give it away or what have you. This as well, I need to back to MAC. It was given to me as a sample, and it's been more than a year, so... I need to get rid of that back to Mac it. Why haven't I back to Mac this? <laughs> that needs to go. The Wet n Wild Mega Last Eyeliner, which I don't like. So I'll be putting that away. This is the e.l.f. Intense Ink Eyeliner. I don't like it. It smudges everywhere. Uh, this Sephora Dupe Brow Wiz. It's called the Sephora Retractable Brow Pencil. I was praising it and it's all out. This thing runs out just as quick as the Anastasia one. I'm using my tripod, but since this is solo, whatever. I'm just going to use my mini tripod and hold it, so I hope you all don't mind. This is all out. I just wanted to do a empties video, so I will save that for my empties and let you know how it is. This I've had for a really, really long time. If you've seen my makeup collection videos, you'll recognize this, so it's time to let this go. I've had these for a while as well. Yeah, I think I'm going to... I'm going to let them all go except no. This my friend, my girl here on YouTube, Joanna, gave it to me and I've had it since then. If you watch or just browse through my videos and see that huge birthday gift swap, I got it then and I haven't gotten rid of it yet. Yeah, it's, it's time to let it go, but I actually really, really liked it, so I definitely might repurchase this with the VIB sale when it comes up. These are Milani shadows and even though I really, really like them... I feel like I got up. I have way too many shadows, so I'm gonna pass these two on. This one though is the gray one that I really, really want to try, and it's brand new, so I am gonna keep that one. This one's it's a Mac shadow, but I don't use this, so I'm gonna give that one away. This is my palette drawer. This is gonna be very, very difficult. I already know some of the things that I do need to get rid of. I do not use a beauty blender, and even if I did, I would not use this. I regret buying this. I really do. So I'm gonna give this away in a giveaway. I'll probably. I'll put set that aside. This is a new tube by The Bomb. This is very difficult doing it with one hand. Really gorgeous colors, but I don't really reach for it. And yeah, I think it's time to say bye. Okay, this one, on the other hand, I did not like. I'm not one for cool tones. As you can see, this is barely, barely touched. So I will be probably adding this to my makeup sale because I've hardly used it. And again, I haven't tried any MUA, but... Really, I don't need any more neutral palettes. I have MAC shadows, but you know, these are old. I'm going to give this away. This is a holiday one. It's a really pretty neutral, smoky, and I have a lot of them. So this is brand new, limited edition discontinued. So I'm probably going to sell this. This is limited edition Wet n Wild palette. Gold till morning. I don't use this. I feel it's way, way too sparkly. So I will be getting... I don't want, when I say get rid, I don't mean throw away. I mean just giving it away or passing it on. There you go. I'm going to pass this one on. Might be in the minority here, but I really don't think this one is all that. Everyone and their mom raves about this one. This is not limited edition, but I don't really see what's the fuss about this. So I'm going to pass this one on. This is walking on eggshells. Is it just me? I don't know. I feel like this one's eh. These, I heard, aren't the greatest, and I have a lot of them. The collector inside of me wants to be like, I'll keep them, but the realist inside of me is like, girl, you have way too many. So, you know what? I'm. These are brand new. I don't know if you can see that, but they're brand new, so... I will be selling them if you're interested in them. Let me know. Since I have the Naked 3, I've heard this one has a couple of shades that are dupes. This one is called Smoke and Melrose. I don't know if this is was a limited edition or, or you still can get it, but I'm going to pass this one on. It's brand new. Like I said, I have the Naked 3, so I have no need for this. This is super old. I want to keep it, but 
I shouldn't because again this is super old so I'm going to toss this one. Okay loves, so I am finished with this set of Alex drawers because the bottom two drawers here are filled with skincare and we're not interested in skincare for the time being so I'm done with this set. Also, I did pop open the window because it is a bit warm in my room and I have my chihuahuas in here. They're napping as usual. So hopefully you all don't mind if you hear weird background noises. <laughs> this is what we have so far. Super, super excited. Definitely not least, lip drawer. You all know. Seen this a whole bunch of times. But it's time to get serious. This Mary Kay one my mom gave to me ages ago or I took from my mom. So... It's time to let it go, even though I actually really do like the shade. Okay, I'm getting sentimental here. But yeah, it is time to toss this one. This one, I mentioned, I, you know, this is more than a year old. So I don't use this. And no, it doesn't smell, but I don't want to get rid of it because it's pretty. But I won't use it, don't worry. Times like this, I really wish I had a rug. Okay, moving on to the MAC lipsticks, you all know this. Most of them I got this year with collection hauls. This one... I've had for a while. It's been a year. I know it's been a year. It's been a year. So I'm actually going to back to Mac this one. Cherish. This one I've had for a really, really long time. And I really, really like this one. But I've, I've had this for so, so long. It's been way more than a year. And I shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't have this anymore. This is from Etude House. It's a Korean brand. This is Miss Tangerine. This is the Sweet Shower Lips. This actually makes my lips super, super dry. A really nice color, especially for summer. But I've had this for a while, so it's time to get rid. Okay, this one. This one, I want to finish, but it's been more than a year. I know it has been, and it's kind of starting to look kind of gross. So I'm going to back to Mac this. This is the only gloss that I've gone this far in. So Double Dare, back to Mac. This one is also by Etude House. And it's a lip balm that changes colors. I want to keep this for sentimental reasons. Because, no, it's been more than a year, so I think it's time to toss this out. Well, this is an Estee Lauder one that I've had for a while. Yeah, I'm going to toss this one. It's been a hot minute. This is my only Marc Jacobs item, I think. This one is the Matte Lip Gel in 140 Gossip. kind of wish... I hadn't used this. I used this maybe like three times max. I don't know. I'm not really a fan of it. I think I'm gonna give it away to my cousin or something. Hopefully they'll be okay with it. I really wished I hadn't used it so I could give it away. You all have seen this drawer many, many times. And this is a realistic declutter video. But realistically, keeping it real, I'm not gonna get rid of my MSFs. I sold Porcelain Pink and Stereo Rose, which I regret now, but not so much because I hardly use these. These are just strictly collectors this is milani powder blush in bella rosa i have never used this i'm it's it's time to pass this on it's really pretty but yeah this one i know i said i wanted to keep but how long has it been since that declutter video and i still haven't used it once so it's time to pass it on or actually toss it out because it has been a while the only one that i do want to keep this one i want to pass it on or give it away or sell it this is blissful i think i've used this like two or three times honestly so it's time i really like the packaging and everything i love the blush but i don't use them so it's time to pass this one on this is the balm cabana boy i like it it's really pigmented it's a really nice blush but i've had this for more than a year it's been two years it's just time to pass it on or throw it out took out four things i know i didn't do that great for my blush drawer but at least I got rid of more things. These last two drawers are unused, brand new makeup that I'm not sure if I want to give away or if I'm going to use or da 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 So yeah, this is all brand new stuff. Yes, I know I have problems. These Wet n Wild limited edition, what are these called? Color Icon Blush and Glow Trios. These are brand new. I got them super, super cheap. I'm not sure if I want to keep them or give them away. Basically, I'm going to put these in a giveaway, or if you're interested, let me know. Yeah, because I don't think I'll be using them anytime soon. The soft lips, I remember hauling this ages ago. I still haven't opened it. And I did get one from Influencer. I think it's over there somewhere. There it is. So I think I'm going to put this in like a goodie bag or something. This is brand new, but I'm going to put this in the giveaway. 
in a future giveaway. I've been looking for these batteries and some of the things that I've hauled are still here like the beauty sponges. This, I actually said I was going to declutter because it's broken so yes, now I'm going to put it away. This I got, this was limited edition but I think they're bringing it back from e.l.f. so now I can put this away. The limited edition Wet n Wild palettes which again are on the floor, don't ask me why. The MAC, yes I, I have problems. Seriously, I have problems. Let's, let's, let's just stop talking about it. I like it. It's Hello Kitty, of course, but I've never ever used it. So I'm going to put this in my to sell pile. I don't make all of these if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'm going to give these in a good way. These are permanent Milani lipsticks. I have too many lipsticks, so I'm going to put this in a giveaway or give these out or something. I don't know why I have so many of them, actually. I'll go through these and pick the ones that I want to give away, but yeah, that's that. Okay, so we are done with the Alex drawers. This is what I'm going to mostly put in giveaway. I'm not sure if I'm going to put them in here. Or in this case, I'm going to sell this one. But yeah, this is pretty much all going to be given away. This is brand new stuff that I've yet to use. So my loss is your gain. I move on to the bigger nine drawer alex this one is skincare this one is just y'all know that i don't i don't have to get rid of that these two i'm not going to show you all simply because this these don't need to be decluttered this is just brand new lipstick and blushes limited edition blushes that are going to be for my sale i just personally have to go in here and pick out i'm pretty much going to pick out most of the things this is insane this I actually think I set aside for giveaways because I already have these open. I There's a story behind this. Someone that follows me on Instagram asked me if I could find them for her and I'm not going to name any names because that's rude. But she played me and she actually said, oh no, I only wanted two of them and I actually ended up buying all of them for her. And long story short, I have all of these so if you are looking for them, let me know and... I can definitely make you an offer or you make me an offer but yeah I got suckered into buying these because this person couldn't find them and then ugh. anyway so enough about that basically products that I know aren't for me they're pretty much just set for giveaways this is a deluxe sample Maraud I don't even use this brand I have never ever used this brand these as you can see are makeup brushes and I've had these I know you might be thinking like why are they in the middle of like your samples and all that these are rc cosmetic brushes i have a video up still you can definitely go check it out but i have had these here because i've wanted to make a video for the longest time but i guess this is kind of like a realization that i'm not going to get to it so here it is these suck they've gotten a lot more popular they've gotten a lot more expensive but these seriously just suck if anyone wants them, let me know, but seriously, these suck, they shed like crazy, these are just terrible. I, If no one is interested in them, really, I will toss these because they are terrible, they're super scratchy, Ugh, I just, I really, really don't like them. And they look okay, but I just got tired of them, they shed like crazy, this one as you can see is so dirty, but they shed like crazy, it's just not even worth it. What is up with this brush? What is it supposed to be? I don't even know. Is this supposed to be a blending brush? I don't I don't even know. Finally, this video is almost done. This is my sample drawer. I actually went through it a couple of days ago and organized because I have so many of these little perfume samples. These are just samples that I get when I order from Sephora. Most of them are perfume samples and I just save them for whenever I send something maybe a giveaway prize and i put some little samples in there i have some deluxe samples this is the final result i'm so happy you don't even know i am just oh i feel great now i'm just going to clean this mess up but thank you so much for watching this declutter video it was very much needed i know more realistically i guess Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope this wasn't too, too insane. And if you are interested in any product, like, for example, these brushes, do let me know. Other than that, I will be doing giveaways so you don't have to worry about it. And the Naked 2 will be added to a makeup sale in the future, hopefully very, very soon. 
thank you so so much for sticking until the end of the video i really do appreciate each and every one of you because if it wasn't for you i probably wouldn't have decluttered this and i would probably still keep them and hoard these things so thank you all so much for watching don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and i will see you all next time bye everyone